Theatre People. Hi, Theatre People. I'm Lucy. And I'm Rob. We are from Legally Blonde the Musical. You can yes. find us at legallyblonde.com.au. Yes, or you can. We, we sometimes see you on Twitter, and so you can follow us either our personal Twitters or. What's your personal one? Lucy Durack. It's really, really creative. Mine's Rob Millsy Mills. If you can't beat him, <laughs> join him. Or also, you can follow all of the gossip that's happening with uh, Legally Blonde on at Legally Blonde Oz. Yeah, we'll see you on Twitter and hopefully at the start, the Lyric Theatre. October 4th. Exciting. Cool. Well, we have only had one run through of playing these characters. I'll be playing Warner and uh, when the production starts, this is Elle Woods. Have a look. So I'm going to be playing Elle Woods, which is the Reese Witherspoon character from the film Legally Blonde in Legally Blonde the musical that we're mm. doing, um, which we start rehearsals for in a week and a half. Which we started on the plane. Which we started, which we did. Uh, we did act one on the plane yesterday between Adelaide and Melbourne. Nailed <laughs> yes. it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Just correcting ourselves. <laughs> yeah. A little two man play. Not yet. So yeah. I felt very sorry for the people around us. No, we were trying to keep our voices down, but you know, testing each other in our lines it was fun. That was good. Well, yeah. I think you can't help but make it your, your own because you're going to be, you're going to be finding your own truth and you're going to be saying, the lines as truthful as you can to yeah. your own life and to yourself. Mm. Um, I have quite a lot in common with Elle. I did start a law degree. I didn't finish it. Um, but did you follow a man? I didn't follow a man to law school uh, until I got there. No, only joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did start a law degree and I do love pink. I do love dogs. And I do think I have quite a strong sense of social justice. And I um, <laughs> I like to try, you know, I don't, mm. I don't shy away from who I am. And... I think that's what she's she's good at just going, you know, I'm gonna be the best version of myself and that's all you can hope for. So Yeah. What about you? Well, my, model? Yeah, quite, yeah, I'd like to consider myself. You've got a lot of people relate to as not really. This character's a bit uh, a bit not me, but at the same time I know a lot of people that uh, sort of are him, that's the private school guy. Um, that sort of used to make fun of me when I went to state schools. So I'm gonna maybe bring on some of that. Yeah. Bring in a bit of the it's got those, uh, private school boy. Old school money thing, yeah. But I just don't have it all. So I'm looking forward to not hamming it up, but just, just uh, I don't know, channeling a bit of their sort of yeah. Yeah, their vibe. It, I'm really, oh. I'm so looking forward to everything. It, it is the most fun. When I saw it before I had anything to do with it, I just thought, oh my God, this is the most fun show ever. Somebody said to me the other day, what you know what about the character of Elle you know drew you to it and I was like it was literally I looked at it and I thought that looks like the most fun job you could ever have and so I'm pretty yeah. excited that we get to do that yeah I'm looking forward to being part of that sort of show as well like I'd be fun it's nothing too serious about it other than you know the themes of love which are great yeah. the themes of friendship which are great it's really truthful yeah you know there are some there's a bit of a roller coaster ride a number of the characters, really. So there are some poignant moments. But this is just but it's stupid, feel good. a stupid amount of hilarity in it as well. Totally, it is fun and it's a real, really great escape. And and we get to work with some really cool people. And some really cool dogs. <laughs> <laughs> like people who are on like medical shows, and then people go up and go, "Quick, someone's dying," and they're like, "I don't know what to do." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm so sorry. Just women going up to Asha Ketty asking him to have a look at. <laughs> Yeah. Can you just check this for me? She's like, I'm not a... I a don't, this is not. weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I think when I played Glinda in Wicked, I used to find people at stage door um, assumed that I wanted to be their friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's not that I didn't want to be their friend, but, you know, I think it's... I can only imagine people who are very famous must get that a lot with people just assuming that they know them. And I think... It's because it's very immediate. People come to stage door and they've just seen you and they feel like they've just been on, in this experience with you. And you have been in this experience with and them to an extent. Friendly. But a lot of people want to tell, you know, hug you and, and it's very, they're very in your personal space sometimes and you think, mm. I don't, I really don't, I don't know you at all and, and that, that can be a bit confronting. But yeah, and I guess they expect maybe that I am a bit more similar to the characters than I play just because I look like them. <laughs> Three times now. Three times. We did Into the Woods as well. We did Into the Woods uh, so a couple of years ago as well. Just a one night only uh, at the it was a charity Theatre. charity performance of Into the Woods um, at the Capitol Theatre. Had to play Cinderella's Prince. And I played Cinderella, and he, yeah, yeah that was exactly. So and I rack out with her there as well. Yep. So it's a <laughs> it's a kind of a theme, you know. I don't think we can ever do a show together where we we get, stay together. Yeah. 
We'll get together <laughs> in the end finally. No. Um, Love no. yourself. No, that's no. right. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really fun. And I think we're really lucky because um, Rob and I have had a great time working together before, so you don't have to spend any time building a rapport. When we worked together in Wicked, that was the first time we'd worked together. Mm. And, you know, we had our ups and downs. Rob once completely deleted my vocal warm-up halfway through the season of Wicked. Good that prank. Was, that, was a very, that was a very... Um, Good prank. We got to know each other a bit more that day. I won't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so it, it's really good. We have a great time. Really good working relationship and good friends. Um, I suppose they're just so sort of different. I mean, I just spent the last sort of six months with Young Talent Time and we were just completely myself. Um, and this is playing a role. It's what we said before. It's just finding the truth and finding the, the honesty in it. I suppose that even that goes with being yourself as well. So uh, the only way I can give advice is to practice, take acting courses, take my singing lessons, um, n- never stop learning, basically. Keep hanging out with cool people that know what they're doing, and then hopefully it'll rub off on you. <laughs> I certainly don't think I know what I'm doing, but I, I agree. Like I think we're always doing singing lessons and acting lessons and dancing classes, mm. and I think um, it, 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 a it keeps what you're doing fresh as well. Like especially if you're doing something eight times a week, if you're going to do an, a, a screen acting class or something like that day, then you might bring something ever so slightly different to the show to that show night, that, yeah. and it keeps it exciting and you're ever evolving, and and it just makes it. And, and there's always so much to learn. Yeah, and it's not so. almost um, just doing courses. It's going to see theatre as well. Going to see plays. Going to see, it's going to see other things. Go to go to a live recording of a of a TV show. Just learn about everything. Learn about the camera stuff. Learn about the lighting. Why it's happening. Why why you need to do this. Why you need to do that. Because down the track, it just makes everything so much easier. The more you know, the more you can just step onto the mark, do your bit get off and also then the more you can really appreciate the people around you because I think um, the more you go on you start start to learn more and more what everybody else does and how important everybody's role is and then you have I think it's really important to have that real team atmosphere Mm. backstage that so that you do know how hard everybody else around you is working because I think it's easy to just be on stage and think everything revolves around you and it really doesn't (laughs) yeah because I suppose our bits are just a small part of what makes a whole show yeah and we're lucky because we get the kind of the glamour side of things yeah. and every, we're really working we're working less hours than pretty much anyone else working in I always theater. like to give the band a standing act. <laughs> we're pretty lucky we've got great bands yeah great backstage crews mm. yeah. well no. we're, yeah we're pretty I, I, I would like to be we are on stage we get to watch it yeah but, but we do get to do I was informed and I just informed Rob because I have read my Welcome to Legally Blonde pack he I'm, is yet to read that um, but it does say that I've been listening to that <laughs> we um, there because of the it is a very physical show, and we especially with the jump roping. There's a jump rope. There's a warm up that we all the compulsory warm up that the whole company's going to do an hour and a half before the show. Because normally, from any show I've ever done, you only yeah. have to be there an hour before the show. But because sometimes I just didn't wake up to a ten minute call. Has, yeah, sometimes he'd, we'd be getting the five minute call, and Will's be like, "I'm gonna have a shower now." He's gonna have a shower before we're here. No, so, that's, that's another story. But um, but yeah, so we're going to be there an hour and a half before each show, and we all do this compulsory warm up, yep. which includes a jump rope warm up. So which I'm pumped about. I'm really excited. And Did you know this about skipping? I don't even one, know what you're saying. One minute of skipping is the equivalent of three minutes of running. Wow. Think of how. Look at it. We're going to get whipped into shape. Yeah, there it is. See where I did that. <laughs> yeah, I did that. I couldn't say it. We, we, I met them last yeah. week. Yeah. Very. I met them. I'm yeah. so jealous. I was pretty lucky. It was so, so cute. They're about seven months old, and their names the two little dogs that are going to be alternated in the role Do of Bruiser. What are their names? Sparrow and Quinn. Quincy. Sorry. And it's so cute. And they've been, that's literally, they've been, they Train. were bought by Legally yeah. Blonde when they were eight weeks old and they've been trained since then by this great trainer, Peter. And she's been, you yeah, know, training them. I think she said she does like a few 10 minute sessions a day because you don't want to tire them out or anything. And they're so cute. I think they're, they're crossbred dogs. Um, so they're a tiny bit bigger than a regular chihuahua. That's really cute, aren't they? Still fit in the handbag? Yeah, they're still fit in the handbag. They're still little, 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 little. stage two hours. Yeah, just so you can see him a bit better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to yeah, laugh, if you, laugh want, if you want to laugh, you want to cry, and come out feeling just good about yourself and and good about it, it is about laugh. It is a, it is the most fun show I've ever seen, and it's the show that I come out feeling so, so um, elated more than any other show. I can't wait to see it. I'm going to take a shot.
<laughs> I didn't even say that. Well, we're just... Frosty's going to be, oh, I see. Well, it's like you're sure. going to be wearing a moustache and a hat <laughs> yeah. in the back row. Well, you've seen it. And I haven't seen I it. I know. I'm pretty lucky that I've looking, seen I'm it. looking forward to the tech. So we're gonna, I can actually sit in the audience yeah. and watch. That's one of the... Ma- it's like, tech is the best and worst part of a show, I think. Because in one respect, you do get to see it. And it feels like this giant sleepover. But you never work so hard in your life. Yeah, yeah. You work really long hours. And yeah. it's a lot of standing around and but stuff. But it's so exciting bit. too. Yeah. And it's everyone's so exciting. You see it come together. It's my favourite part of the uh, of doing a show, actually, the rehearsal. When we did Wicked, we had um, this song, One Short Day, we texted for like three days. And on the third day, we arrived and we were all in our same costumes that we've been wearing for like <laughs> however many hours. And we and we thought it would be hilarious that we all as a company would sing instead of One Short Day in the Emerald City, One Long Day in the Emerald City. And all the people who were out there like just rolled their eyes, are like, keep moving. <laughs> we were like, but it's hilarious. They're like, we've been here for three days. We've been here as yeah, well. Yeah, we know. That's yeah. the gap. Yeah. She actually took the so that was like the technical run like on stage and where yeah. they're focusing all the lights and, yeah. and checking all of the sound and, and the staging and yeah, and check all the yes. three full days for one song. One song. Yeah, the, I've never experienced a tech period like the wicked tech period. But there's so much that goes on. I mean, yeah, it's is, such a massive. But this show. is similar as well with uh, the set design. Is there's so much flying in and flying out? The set design is is really impressive and it's really slick because you kind of don't realise it with Legally Blonde. Um, it is a really it's a great set, and, but it's really. Um, it's really smart, savvy kind of set and really mm. bright and exciting. You know, that, that opening set where all the girls, they're kind of singing that song, Oh My God, Oh My God, You Guys, which is the song that I think will get stuck in everyone's head the most. Yeah. Um, where they're all kind of coming out of these um, windows. Sorority house. Yeah. This sorority house. It's a really cute start to a show. That's the reason why guys will probably want to see the show as well. It's a, it's a sorority house kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> the Greek chorus there. Yeah. There's a lot of hot women. There's, There's a lot, lot of hot women There's, in this show. Yeah. <laughs> the female ensemble are. Yeah really lovely girls who yes. look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what, what colour was your dressing room? Yeah, you? when we moved to Sydney from the Melbourne season of Wicked, Stephen Found, who's just the loveliest man, who um, had, we were the first show that he had when he took over the Capitol Theatre, and he um, he painted my dressing room pink for yeah. me, which is really good. I, I have always loved the, um, the colour pink. I went through a stage in high school where you know it was not cool to like pink, so I sort of shunned it for a while, and then I embraced it again, and <laughs> I'm so glad that I did. Yeah, there, I mean, Melbourne was the place that everybody, everything opened, yeah, and I yeah, think yeah. Sydney's finally cottoned on and gone. Oh, You've got to have King Kong and other things like that here. It's going to be heaps of shows. There's heaps of shows coming out here opening in Melbourne. Yeah, we need to have something open in Sydney. Yeah, Just feel, you feel sorry for them. Just trust me. And Jersey sorry. Boys and Wicked, all of those, they all opened in Melbourne first. Mm. Um, you don't speak in Sydney, like, what do you usually say? I live in Sydney, so I'm happy. You're Sydney, that's opening in Sydney. Yeah. I'm just moving to a new place, so I'm like, I'm stoked that it's that. Bill's yeah. bathroom's been renovated, so hopefully we'll have a brand new bathroom ready to start rehearsals. Just ready to go. Yep, I'm ready to go. I live in Sydney too, so I'm really excited to be here. And it, it means it's a bit easier. We don't have to, like with Wicked, I had to relocate to Melbourne, so it was quite a bit of... My parents helped me and my boyfriend helped me and we mm. set up furniture and bought stuff and rented a place out, so it, it's a bit easier for us. Yeah. That's the only thing I've seen. She's seen it like seven times. Oh, I've seen. I saw it in London four times before my audition, and I did see it in Bro- on Broadway um, when I was there for Wicked. On, Have you seen the MTV? Yes, and I've seen the MTV. Which I really liked as well, like the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, it's great. How excited she was backstage, even though she has a lot to do in the show. Was it Laura Bundy in that one? Laura Bundy in the MTV in the recording. Yeah. M- MTV one. Yeah, and then yeah. The, then the. Was it MTV that did the search for the new Elwoods as well? And that, um, um, okay, that's the moment that's what I saw. Oh but yeah, I've seen that and I, I, that's what made me go, I really, really love this musical. Like I heard, heard some of the soundtrack, but when you actually watch it and see how it sort of works, and they shot it pretty well. Yeah. It's really hard to capture. Yeah, it is. Musical theater, they they really got a great audience that were giving a great response. Cause I th- and I think that's important when you're filming live theatre. It is meant to be live theatre, mm. and if you can get a really rowdy audience, then that's going to be good. I'm hoping our audience will be like that. I know it's like it's a long shot. Nice, isn't it? Well, yeah, Australian yeah. audiences, you know, are a bit quieter than American audiences in general. Mm. You know, but um, that's a good and a bad thing. Yeah, I think I think they'll. No, they listen. They listen. Yeah. Is this production different like, in terms of set and costume? It's, it's pretty much exactly what you'd see if you went and saw it. If you'd seen it on the West End, we've got the same. We've got Jerry Mitchell, who's the director from. He's an American guy. He's coming out to rehearse us up. Who's as directed well as, it in? Who's directed it in Broadway. Bro- on Broadway and, and on the West End? Yeah. And all, all over, wherever, if ever you've seen it, on the tour or in the UK or whatever. 
and um, and and the UK creative team and um, set so designers and stuff. Set designers, and costume so designers. Pretty, yeah, much, it'll be pretty, exactly much, pretty much when we did Wicked was a Broadway production. I mean, this one would be basically a West End production. What's well, Broadway and West End? Because it's sort of originated. Oh, yeah. on, mm. True. So we start previewing September twenty first at the Lyric Theatre at Star, and our big opening night is October with the fourth. When are we going to Melbourne? Uh, it'll be in Sydney for it'll be in hopefully, as, long hopefully as, long, as long as possible with every show. Hopefully you all come and see us in Sydney we'll get to and, and, and it does successful. well, then we'll get to come to Melbourne. Yeah. So, but we have to kind of prove ourselves first, I think. Uh.